Having a baby in the neonatal intensive care unit, also called the NICU, can be stressful. The care team at Penn State Health Children's Hospital created this video to let you know what to expect during your baby's time in the NICU. First, let's take a tour. The NICU is on the eighth floor of the Children's Hospital. The Ronald McDonald Family Room offers an area to relax with your family. The NICU is a mixed unit of private and semi-private rooms. Sometimes we need to move a baby's bed location. If this happens, we will notify you. Here's our care team station. And here's our central monitoring area where our nurses monitor your baby's vital signs. We encourage breastfeeding moms to pump their milk at their baby's bedside. We also have dedicated pumping rooms if you'd prefer to pump there. Our milk lab is a secure, centralized location where we store your baby's milk or formula. Our milk technicians will safely prepare your baby's feedings here as well. You can drop off your milk here. If the milk lab is closed, bring your milk to your baby's room and your nurse will help you store it. The milk lab technicians will let you know if you need to bring in more breast milk or if your supply bin is full and you should take some home to store. Our last stop on the brief tour is the laundry room with washers and dryers available for your convenience. The doors to the NICU are locked for your baby's security. Primary caregivers, the birth parent and a partner, spouse, or significant other will receive blue bands identifying you as a primary caregiver. You should wear these identification bands whenever you visit your baby in the NICU. The number allows you to receive updates about your baby over the phone. For your baby's safety, only the primary caregivers who have the blue band should know that identifying number. Please don't share it with anyone. You're welcome to visit your baby anytime, day or night. When you arrive on the eighth floor, check in with the patient care secretary. If a patient care secretary isn't present, please utilize the doorbell outside of the unit doors. For your baby's safety, no more than two adults may be at their bedside at any time. Your baby's siblings under the age of 18 are welcome to visit if they're accompanied by an adult. Hand washing is essential for protecting your baby from infections. After checking in with our staff, you'll be directed to wash your hands at the sinks located by the milk lab window. You'll then wash your hands and forearms all the way up to your elbows with soap and water for 20 seconds before rinsing and drying. For added safety, you should also use the hand sanitizer in your baby's room before touching your infant. And if you ever notice a staff member who's not cleaning their hands before caring for your baby, please let us know. You can also contact Patient Experience with any concerns you have. Just call 717-531-6311 anytime. Your baby's room has a call button that you can use 24-7 to get assistance. For your baby's safety, please don't touch any other equipment in the room. Your baby's room has storage areas where you can put your belongings. This will keep the room free of clutter so our care team has easier access to your infant's bedside. You can eat or drink in your baby's room, but please clean up after yourself when you're done. For your convenience, there's a refrigerator in the Ronald McDonald family room where you can store leftovers or snacks. Be sure to label them with your child's name using the special stickers located on the side of the refrigerator. Your friends and family may want to bring gifts for your baby because everything at your baby's bedside needs to be cleaned regularly with antibacterial wipes. Things like flowers, balloons, and stuffed animals are not allowed in the NICU. We know you may not always be able to be at your baby's bedside. We have a live streaming camera system called Angel Eye that allows you to see your baby from anywhere with your cell phone, iPad, or laptop. Before you enroll in Angel Eye, you'll be asked to review the expectations and sign a consent form. Angel Eye is intended to bring you peace of mind when you can't be with your baby in person. If accessing it results in excessive, unnecessary phone calls to the care team, your privileges may be revoked. 
Every morning beginning at 9 a.m., a team of care providers will conduct rounds to discuss your baby's diagnosis and plan of care for the day. The rounding team may include doctors, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, bedside nurses, respiratory therapists, dietitians, and pharmacists. We encourage you to be in the NICU in person during the rounds and ask questions. If you're not able to be there, a member of the medical team can give you updates later in the day. You can call the NICU anytime at 717-531-8941. You'll be asked to identify yourself, your child's name, and the four-digit identifying code on your blue band. You'll then be transferred to your baby's nurse. For the safety of your baby, we try not to interrupt nursing shift report. Please note that your nurse will be busy from 7 to 7.45 a.m. and 7 to 7.45 p.m. each day. If you call during those times, the patient care secretary will take a message for you. We hope that this video gave you a better understanding of the NICU. If you have any questions or concerns, please ask a NICU staff member and be sure to review the materials in your welcome folder. Thank you for trusting us with the care of your baby.